channel today i went to do my grocery shopping and instead of ordering as usual from tesco i've decided to have a trip to aldi and see if i can save some penny here and there in this video first i will show you what i got and after uh, i'm going to take you along with my receipt and i also i did a price comparison with tesco and so we can take a conclusion that where is it more budget friendly to shop in tesco or in aldi so i hope you will keep with me until the end of this video if you are new here hi my name is tunda i'm a full-time working mommy and i uploading uh, quite regularly videos mainly shopping hauls about food shoppings and also i'm sharing some uh, recipes what i'm cooking uh, as i'm trying to losing weight so if if you are interested into this kind of content please consider to subscribe to my channel that would mean a lot to me but right now let's get into the video i will show you first what did i get in aldi today i spent a total 117 pounds in there this was a payday shop a beginning of a uh, beginning of the month shop so when i'm actually stocking up whatever is just possible so here we go let's start from the left and let's move to the right so i purchased my usual milks one green milk for my family one red one fat free one for myself and i also purchased five long life ones so we can uh, eliminate the trips to the shop um the chicken tights were on special offer it was 369 for this two kilo big tray I go to British Dice Beef to pack of them. They are just exactly the same price as Tesco for $3.79. 5% lean pork means uh, they cost $3.25, so it was slightly cheaper than in Tesco. I've chosen these Italian style chicken chipolatas. Um, based on the fat content, actually, I was standing there like nearly 10 minutes trying to choose which one to pick and eventually i settled with these ones i purchased two of them meatwise i bought the usual um frozen chicken breast that cost 379 such as in tesco as tesco doing all the price match and i found these uh, sausages <coughs> it's a plant-based sausages it is quite a good price also uh, let's give it a try it's frozen one also uh yogurt wise i've settled for this uh, Brooklyn light yogurt. This is the orange and vanilla one. Also purchased um, the protein yogurts, two vanilla and two salted caramel ones. And I found these uh, light chalk pots. I think it's like, oops, fell out. It's like the, <coughs> can be similar like the Muller light one, I believe. So let's try those ones. It's looking okay. That was 1.4 and i got cream cream fresh uh, also i purchased two of them um otherwise we got um, cooked chickens and other type of cooked chickens for sandwiches also here for me mainly i was looking for the fat content um the bacon medallions 75 percent less they were on offer so i purchased two of those ones um, one cheese, a lighter mature cheese, it's exactly the same price as the Tesco one, two sixty nine. dollars pack of seafood sticks, and I'm planning to do a uh, stir fry next week, so I purchased um, this pack of stir fry, it's far, far, far cheaper than in Tesco actually, oops, and I got uh, close cup mushrooms, it's at the same price and in Tesco, also I purchased some frozen mushrooms because they are they can be very handy in the freezer such as the fruits two pack of blueberries one sweet dark cherries and uh, strawberries because like this i don't need to worry about that they are going to be basted they are happily sitting in the freezer we have an ice bag lattice i purchased two pack of bananas one pack of grape one pack of apple the apple also cost as this exactly the same as in uh, tesco two pack of easy peelers one pack of um, spring onions they are on offer at the moment for 39 penny two uh, aubergines brown onions two pack of mixed 
peppers, which is this was a quiet good volume. We got six or seven peppers in here, two, four, yeah, six peppers in here. And they got the red one, so it's yeah, happy days. So two pack of those. A big pack of spinach. This was also cheaper than in Tesco. Two pack of cherry tomatoes, one pack of salad tomatoes. Head guys, I got two pack of flat pastry and one pack of rosemary i like to keep them in the freezer so they also i don't need to be worried about the waste anytime i need them they are just there in the freezer for me but for beef stock pots two pack of spaghettis a little bit of treat for myself in there and we have here uh, two four pack of chopped tomatoes four pack of baked beans i have three um, pack of uh, tomato passata two pack of tomato puree also i've decided to go with this uh, granola this time um, usually i'm buying the skinny granolas from vietnam but now nah, it's not on plan that i'm visiting anytime soon so i just decided to purchase them i got two pack of golden vegetable rice and two pack of um, whole grain rice they are microwave rice they can be quite handy when we are short on time. I have two pack of teas. It's still that time of the year when we need tea. Uh, reduced fat coconut milk. The two garlic bags are for the family, such as this little snack, like the Pringles duplicate and the cheese taste. I got a mouthwash. Uh, no added sugar squash, also for the family. A uh, brioche loaf toothpaste, multivitamin, cotton pads, so eventually some hygienic things. And what else we got here? Toothbrush. I have a pack of kitchen rolls, pack of toilet paper, and I still popped into Tesco because the option bag and chocolate at the moment on club card offer. So instead of 459, it's two pounds. So I purchased two of them. So after this, I have my Aldi Received with me uh, yeah it's a little bit squeezed and teared and but anyway i went through on this receipt like i started to put everything into my tesco up what i purchased today in aldi and i wanted to see what cost how much is it cost how much the total going to cost and uh, yeah what i found that many items are cost the same because usually i'm even in tesco i'm buying the all the uh, price match products and was some taking advantage of the club card offers however i found quite a lot of items where they are like a significant different compared to tesco and all i'm definitely i'm not going to go through on all the 60 items or god knows how much i purchased today a lot uh, just some of them some important ones uh, i would like to highlight for example the frozen fruits uh, while the blueberries uh, the frozen frozen blueberries in um, uh, aldi cost 215 those one cost in tesco 240 and that one is not a big significant different however if i consider um, the raspberries for example or or rather the strawberries the strawberries the frozen strawberries in all the cost only 149 by in tesco still the 240 that's nearly a pound difference or the other very important for me actually is the bacon medallions why the bacon medallions the same eight rushes of bacon medallion cost 410 in tesco that's only 2.9 in all it's actually like half price that's that's a really really significant difference or uh, if you are looking at the yogurt, the orange and uh, vanilla yogurt, uh, that one is the duplicate of the Müller Light one. The Müller Light yogurt costs three fifty if it is not on club card offer, but even if it is on club card offer, usually two fifty. However, in Aldi, this yogurt costs only two point nine. So again, almost a pound savings. Or if I check the full price, it's one and a half pound savings. So that's quite a lot or if you check the protein yogurts the protein yogurts cost 75 penny in aldi in tesco there's only protein yogurt what i could find is the arla one that costs 125 so we have like a half penny there and many many half penny here and there that can really really add in up or what else i've seen which was really really significant 
let me check quickly uh, for example stock pots not significant 20 penny difference uh, aldi one costs 75 penny the tesco stock pots the beef beef stock pots cost 95 penny um, but these these little pencils here and there this this can really or oh, eventually what i wanted to show you is the the chicken tights um this one actually is on special bio for as i said in the beginning of the video for 369 the two kilo chicken drumsticks in in all the at the moment but in in tesco one kilo chicken drumstick costs 245 so eventually the two kilo chicken drumstick could cost 490 compared to the 369 already price so it's it's we have over a pound one pound 30 nearly one, sorry one pound 21 let's do the math properly then one pound 20 pounds difference so that's that's quite a huge huge difference so conclusion so as i said the Aldi shop today cost 127 pounds as i put everything in my tesco up the same shopping would cost me in tesco 135 pounds plus don't forget about the delivery because if i'm ordering from tesco i'm always asking from home delivery which is three pounds extra so all together the difference is 21 pounds on the kind of the same shop because i try to put every item similar as much as possible or the same so that's 21 pounds difference on this shop conclusion 21 pounds can be a half of it my weekly top-up shoppings also 21 pounds might not much but for for many many occasions that that money can be very very much so considering other factors busy lifestyle um i have my usual items in tesco so it's very easy for me just to put everything in the basket order it and it will come so saving time for me today i spent nearly two hours in aldi yeah nearly two hours first of all because i don't know the shop's layout i don't know the products so i was searching i don't have my regular ones but as i'm assuming if i know my regular ones in 45 minutes actually i can do this shopping and uh, aldi is like 10 minutes drive away from us um yeah 21 pounds time wise money wise um so i think it's going to be like a mixture uh, most probably i'm going to do my main shopping like the monthly one big shopping in aldi because yes i can save money in aldi however the top-up shops usually i'm as i said i'm choosing all the price match products and tesco club card um, offer products so probably the top-up shoppings are still going to come home from tesco but the big monthly payday shops i think it's better to do at aldi what do you think i'm really curious about your experience or about your opinion so i would like to i would really like to see them in the comments so write me comments i want to know your opinion i hope you like this video i hope it help you to make a decision about where to go to shop to aldi or to tesco if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and i will see you guys in my next video